Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And today we're going to be hitting up at least five thrift stores, see what kind of goodies they got, see if we can score some vintage toys, which by the way, if you like vintage toys and you like thrift stores, chances are you'll probably like my channel. So hit the subscribe button. But today we're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. What do we got in the glass case? Oh, we got a lot of these uh, infinity pieces, Skylanders. Sometimes those can sell for decent money. Ooh, check out this guy. I do love me some dragons. That is a cool one too, man. Totally picking that up. What do they want for him? $9, are you kidding me? All right, I'm probably gonna splurge on it today because I do like it very, vibrant oh look at this thing how crazy is that thing what do they want for that seven dollars i've never seen something like that before that is so crazy looking all right i'm gonna probably get this too oh we got the big boy out today let's see what are they asking for him 20 yep 20 bucks ridiculous he's a 12.91 figure for a thrift store. Ah, oh, here's the, uh, one of those Pirates of the Caribbean ships. I've got this and I use it for my Pirates of Dark Water. That's a fun looking one too. That's probably more in a line with Pirates of Dark Water considering the colors of it and stuff like that. I just wish it wasn't Imagine X and had these little, these little red things. I hate these things. It like ruins the toy for me. Well, somebody sure loved pirate ships. Here's another one. They dumped their pirate ship collection here today. So I just looked this guy up, and he's called a Cuddle Me plush. He's a wizard. I think he's kind of neat. Probably going to leave him behind, but kind of want to get him, too. Hey, it's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Wow, look at all the stuff they're putting on the shelves. Yeah, check out these holsters. All right, I'm going to probably grab those two. I just picked up a brown pair the other day over at Texas Thrift. So, yeah, I need to, I've got a bunch of six shooters. So, I need these. I just pulled another one out of there. Here's a couple of lightsabers. It's uh, Vader's and Luke's, right? Oh wow, check out this old Fisher Price firehouse. Fisher Price Theater. Well, there's a firehouse. There's the post office. And then the, the theater, the tickets uh, to the movie theater, I guess. That is pretty neat. And they only want five bucks for it. I think I'm gonna grab that. So we got a castle over here and check out that Rapunzel tower. That is pretty awesome. And then we got like this, I don't know, Lion King jungle over here. Right, we got another beefcake pony. Beefcake, beefcake, oh, I'm a big beefcake. One of these days, I'm gonna pull the trigger and buy one of these things. I see them all the time. Well, she finally put all these guys out on the shelf. Check them out. That Star-Lord's pretty cool in the back. Got a Stormtrooper something. What is that? I don't know what that is. And then we've got this guy here. So, we ended up with some stuff. Let's do a little show and tell. Check out the Dungeons and Dragons setup. So I had found this dragon, I think at Thrift Giant, I think the same one a month or so ago, and then just found his brother. You can see they're made uh, pretty much from the same mold, but this one is a lot more colorful. I love that lava color that he's got going on here. Oh my God, 
gosh. Don't they go awesome with these Dungeons and Dragons figures? I love these animated series figures. I watched this cartoon when I was a kid and still enjoy it today. I actually watch the episodes of it from time to time. But uh, I need to get the latest release with Eric, Sheila, and Presto. But how cool are these guys? I mean, these dragons are pretty awesome. And I love that they're like both basically from the same line. I think it's the same, like I didn't see any markings on it as far as like what the line is, but it's the same mold, 100%. Man, that looks awesome. And then we got this gnarly dude. Turns out I was talking to Jose, my friend Jose. Old, old no way Jose. I was talking to him and uh, he said it's from the movie Avatar. And I think he's right. This thing is pretty cool. I think I'm probably gonna try and sell it. Maybe list it up on the eBay store. But man, that is a pretty cool piece. I, again, I love the vibrant colors of it. Check out the holsters, man. I love the detailed engraving on these things. Look at that, I mean, we got like little acorns. We got like stallions, I guess, some grass. It's pretty awesome. Do they even still make holsters like this for kids? I don't know, maybe this is, maybe this is a newer one. It just looks and kind of feels old, I don't know. But uh, I think it's pretty awesome. So glad I picked this up. This thing is so awesome. It's so simple, yet so awesome. So, oh yeah, it's the door to the post office. Postal service, there's a little postman right there. We got the movie theater over here. Oh look, and inside there we got like little seats where people can watch the movie. Oh, there's the movie screen. We'll flip the house around here in a second or the little town, I guess. And then we got this. That's the fire department, in case you didn't figure that out. And then let's take a look at things here on the back side. Oh yeah, see, there's the big screen. Oh, the fireman is putting a fire out. And there's the inside of the post office. We got the loading zone. Man, such a neat little playset. I mean, you could really make your own little world come to life with something like that. Dude, we got some cool scores out of there. You know, the dragon, super awesome. The, uh, the, the holster, I'm digging it. I mean, that's stuff that I like. And, you know, the Fisher Price playset. Oh my gosh, like, total like memories just flooding nostalgic memories flooding through my 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 veins my brain my yeah my soul it's running through my soul right now so all right up next the goody wheel goody wheel gang 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 goody wheel gang goody wheel gang 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 goody wheel gang goody wheel gang rise up and join me in the goody wheel anthem because we got the goody wheel baby what What's up and what's happening, internet people? It's your host with the most snow, the most electrifying man in thrift entertainment, and I got Tyler with me today. Uh, Miss Cat couldn't come, but we had to come over here into Winchester, Indiana. We were at a Goodwill. As the great Burf would say, what is, what's the great Burf say? Hmm, what you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hey, do me a favor real quick. Go give these guys a subscribe on YouTube. It's Go Go Snow. They got an awesome thrift channel. So I appreciate you guys doing that for me, man. Snow, that totally, totally made my day. Really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know if that was your brother or something or just your friend like in the seat next to you, but dude, spot on, dude. You did it good. Did it good. You done good, my friend. <laughs> so anyway, on with the show. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> yeah, hopefully my Goodwill hookup's working today. She's usually working Fridays. So I hope she's working and I hope we find something magnificent in here. Truly fantastic and epic. Let's see what they got. Uh, kinda like that hat, bestie. What's it say there, Judith March? Interesting. Looks like an old ass hat, I don't know. Oh, look at this, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh man, I love me some Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's got 
awesome music. All right, let's see what do we got on the shelves today. Maybe that's uh I forget what these guys are called. I know what they're I've seen them. Uh we got a wrestler in here maybe. Is that John Cena? Oh, yeah, we got a John Cena and then we got LeBron from Space Jam, Daffy Duck, and a Batman costume. It's not a bad little bag, but I won't be getting it. <laughs> See what else we got in here. Here's a bag of vintage horses. What's this? Like a little Chewbacca? <laughs> Star Wars. Let's see. Has it got a year on it? Oh, it's a Burger King toy. Maybe 2005, 2006. Can't quite read it. Oh, I think these are. Uh... He-Man toys from Sonic. It's like Skeletors and stuff. Oh, it's like they're like different, uh, different colored plastic. And here's another one, I think. Ninety-nine cents for those. Dang. Speaking of Chewbacca, Chewbacca has flipped his lid. That's actually kind of cool. Ah, here's the Daily Planet. And uh, nobody's bought this robot yet. It's got his remote control and everything. Oh, he's missing the battery pack. Still, he's got his remote. You never see them with the remote. Check out this game. Crazy Bomb. I just tried looking it up on eBay. I didn't find anything on it. None of them even listed. Not only not sold, but not even listed. Let me see if I can get him out of here. All right, so we got the little spin wheel. And then... I don't know, I'll have to see the instructions on how you play it, but then like you pump this. And I guess he blows up a balloon and last one to make it pop loses, I guess, or wins, I don't know. Oh, look at this, Schleech. Little farm, little family farm thing, farm life is what it's called, farm life. Look at this thing. Morales Yellow Jacket Discharge Target. I guess that's a target, huh? What do you shoot into it? Is it like for a BB gun? Is it for arrows? What's it used for? It's for a bow and arrow. Interesting. I just bought uh, a long bow at a, an estate sale a couple months ago and uh, don't have a target for it so maybe your boy's gonna pick this up all right well i got the target so i can practice my archery skills you know for when she hits the fan and we got food shortages i'll be able to take my trusty bow and arrow and with precision skill because of the practice i had with this target be able to kill the squirrels and the rabbits in my neighborhood to feed my family you know, because when you live in suburbia, <laughs> it's either squirrels, rabbits, or rats. And I ain't no rat, so. <laughs> All right. Up next, Big Texas Thrift. All right, let's see what we can find here today. Hey, looky, looky. It's our boy Buzz. And we got a bendy Batman too. And looks like we got a couple of stormtroopers. This one here talks. I don't remember where the button is though to make him talk. Ready for action. Oh, there we go. Let's move. There's a red Power Ranger. The Oregon Trail handheld game. That's cool. And of course, it's not a thrift store without our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. What do we got here? We got some special forces. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, here's a mech suit. I had this once before. 
it's missing its little canopy, little window. Well, let's see if we can find anything in baggy land. Oh, check that out. Is that like a Funko maybe? Make it blocks. There's a little action figure, like a construction worker or something. And a little mini buzz. I think these might be some modern rescue heroes. LeBron making his appearance today. We saw him over at the Goody Will. The honeybee tree. Looks like a fun game for kids. Check this out, it's incomplete, but it's a Fidelity Electronics Chess Trainer. So you learn how to play chess with this. I wish all the pieces were here. I saw it selling for about 30, 35 bucks with all the pieces. It has like an electric cord, a plug that goes in there. It's kind of neat, but I'm not gonna get it. If it were complete, I would. Check out this Lord Vader and the dark side. Rule the Galaxy Tour, Alderaan, Dagobah, Ha, Vavin. Is that Baron, Tatooine, and Endor? I'm not sure if that's Baron, maybe? I can't, I don't know. It's a fun, it's a fun mug. Yeah, check this dude out. He's kind of neat. Part of me wants to get this guy, because he's so neat looking. But I don't really collect Power Rangers. And my buddy Travis, he's only looking for vintage Power Rangers. So I'm probably just gonna leave them here. They want three bucks for them. I don't think that's too bad of a price, but yeah, I'll just leave them. Well, Texas Thrift ended up being a bust, but that's okay. We still got a few more stores on the agenda today, so. I think we should hit up another Goody Will. All right, my friends, we are here. Goody Will number two. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? I'll tell you, this uh, particular Goody Will has not had a lot in it for several weeks now. So, hoping, praying, praying. The shelves are stocked up. Let's check it out. Oh, man, I can see it from a distance already. The shelves look exactly the same as they did last week. There's like nothing here. The coolest thing is this Vader mask and that's it. Well, their shelves are a little more stocked from the last time we were here, but it still doesn't look like there's much. This is kind of a cool dollhouse. I think this is that uh, goes to that Adam Sandler movie, right? Like Transylvania or something like that. Oh, we got part of a TMNT vehicle. Uh, brain surgery. Operation. Oh, looks like there's some stuff down in there. Let's see if we can pull this stuff out. Oh, yeah, I got some cards. Some little pieces. more cards. Star Wars lunchbox, zombie monster truck, Bob's butt wipes. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh-oh, that's three bus in a row. We can't let this streak continue. We gotta call in reinforcements. We gotta call in No Way Jose. So uh, my friend Jose and I are actually doing a trade. So I'm gonna go meet up with him right now. He's got some GI Joe vehicles for me and I got some action figures for him. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on some vintage Joes. All right, gang, Jose just rolled up. Let's do this trade. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> Doing good. Oh, look at this thing. Yeah. Wow. Where'd you find that at? Uh, Round Grove, both of them. Really? Yeah. When? When? Last week or? Uh, probably a month ago. Oh wow. Yeah. Dude, that is huge. It's wow. missing a lot of parts. Though. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let me uh, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, just you put it down. These are the ones you wanted, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. There you go. Awesome. These are from the nineties. Uh, eighty six. Oh, the really uh, 80s, really? 90. Oh, wow. Cool, man. I appreciate you heading to that uh, flea market tomorrow. My no? dad's not here. Ah, uh, okay. Mexico, so. uh, okay. Uh, we're probably, it's fine. 
um, it's probably gonna be way too hot because last last month it was like 96 degrees in the morning well, so. I saw next week it gets down in the low 80s upper 70s on a one day or it's something gonna like be, that in the morning it's gonna be like 62 do they do that every couple of once a month or every once couple a month. once a month okay. hopefully next one yeah oh yeah but man it's so cool yeah I've never, I'm actually thinking about maybe going to that Trader's Village. I've never been there. Oh, yeah. Have Denver. you ever been there? Yeah, we have. Yeah, is it a good spot or uh, are there toys the outside, there? The outside flea market is good. Okay. Inside is mostly, it's resellers too, but it's mostly um, um, wholesale and just expensive. Oh, people. I see. Gotcha. So, yeah. so if you want cheap stuff, stay on the Stick outside. Stick the outside. But um, some people in the inside are also cheap too. Okay. So. I've had really good luck. I haven't found anything personal for me in a month. So really? This is, gonna, this is going on my collection. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's awesome. But um, I found a bunch of Legos at Goodwill. Oh, did you? I this one up here, Round Grove? Or? Main Street. Oh, okay. I spent $500. Whoa, 500 bucks on them, really? Yeah. Uh, you know that one toe you want? Yeah. I have it packed with Legos, so. No kidding. <laughs> I I, I, no it. rush on it. Yeah, but it's yeah, fine. Um, but yeah, it's packed with Lego sets. There's from like wow. the Lego movie, the Batman Lego movie, um, Technic. It's a lot of figures in there? Oh, each almost each set has their respective figures. Wow. Yeah. I was talking to Hendrix last week, and he was saying like how he hasn't found anything. Oh, yeah. And he's like, the Goodwill off of Main Street has been terrible, you know, but like you lucked out over there, huh? Not yet. Nice. Um, so, how much do you think you can get for all that? So... See, so right now my main issue is if I want to build them. Because mm. I think that's where I can get the most already pre-built. Yeah. But um, if I can find someone who's willing to pay, maybe... If I thousand get, plus, maybe? Yeah, if I get a thousand two hundred, that's fine with me. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. yeah, it's just that's cool. I just gotta find a buyer. Right. Well, I appreciate you doing this trade with me, oh, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let me show. I don't think I even showed everybody on. Yeah, here. I don't think I saw this on the video. Yeah. So, uh, what's his um? Gypsy Danger. This Gypsy Danger. What's he from? Uh, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. Okay. Yeah, cool. I have a couple of stuff already. And is there anything? Is this a, is this a Captain America or is this like that U.S. agent? Or? No, that's a Captain America that's Captain from America. Winter Soldier. Okay. Yeah, so these three already go with Pacific Rim. Oh, you got those already? Yeah. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Always good to see my friend Jose. So I picked up some G.I. Joe vehicles from Jose in our trade. Let's do a little show and tell. Now it's time for some G.I. Joe. Check out this bad boy. The G.I. Joe Hammerhead. It is missing quite a few parts. There's like a like a missile that has like a cockpit in it, like over here, you know, thing here. It has like a little tail wing out here. But anyway, it's missing quite a bit, but if this thing were actually complete, I see it selling on eBay for between $150 and $200. So I'll have to do a little investigation into it and see if perhaps I can try and complete this thing for under a hundred dollars. That would be pretty epic. That thing, this is a cool piece. I did, this is from uh, 1990. I was definitely not uh, into GI Joes at that point in time. I was uh, phasing out of Joes. I think I was probably like 15, more into hunting and girls and doing things like with my friends, playing basketball, things like that. Didn't so much play with toys. But wow, guys, that is freaking awesome. Thank you, Jose. And we've got the G.I. Joe Street Fighter Beast Blaster. Again, incomplete. Got quite a few pieces to pick up for this, but I saw this with, I think, the figure, one of, or a figure, a Street Fighter figure, recently sold for about 100 bucks. So, but this will be something maybe I try to piece back together as well. So I love this, this lime, like fluorescent green. I just love that look. Looks really good with the blue too. And over here, we got the little Street Fighter sticker. We have it on this side over here as well. Uh, we got GI Joe on this side. Very, very cool. Awesome sauce. All right, gang, we got one more stop on today's five thrift store Friday, and we're going to be hitting up Thrift City, baby. Oh, yes, Thrift City. You know, 
the thrift city, the infamous thrift city, home of the inglorious glass case. It's so inglorious. So inglorious. So, all right, guys, let's see if they got anything for us today. Well, 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 let's see what we've got over here today. A little apple tree. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Action-packed hockey trivia game. Uh, hockey trivia. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. What we got here? May the fort be with you. Mm, just some junk. Oh, man. Uh, our little TV friend is slow. Dang. Our little TV friend is still here for $49.99. When are they gonna lower the price on this thing? Oh my god. When are they gonna lower the price on that TV? I mean, get a hint already, Thrift City. Get a hint. Nobody's gonna buy it for 50 bucks. It's been there for like two months now. Nobody's gonna buy it. Lower the price for your boy. So, hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. It helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also, if you're uh, you know, looking to watch more vintage toy hunts in thrift stores, check out this next video. I know you're going to love it.